In this presentation, I am going to be working with factors and I'm going to be using the four cats R package. Now factors are categorical variables essentially. So what I'm going to do is load up my packages. I'm going to load up four cats and a couple of other tidyverse packages such as Magritter and Dplyr. Now there's a little bit of a warning message there. Don't worry about that. Okay, so we have everything ready. So we can clear the screen and what we are going to do now is look at a data set that comes part of Dplyr, sorry, of or four cats and it's called GSS cat. So I'll just move it into shot. I just brought up the help file there. And it's a sample of categorical variables from the general social survey. It has year, age, marital status, race, uh, reported income, party ID, religion, denomination, TV hours, just a couple of categorical variables. And it is, I believe it's from a US uh, government agency. So let's have a quick look at it there. GSS underscore cat. There we go. Now, the one I'm going to look at in particular is party ID. Now, just to be clear, this is actually from the reference document on CRAN. So don't try and improve on perfection. This is a really good example and a really good use of stuff like this. So let's get a table, a frequency table even, of the party ID, which is one of the variables there. So we have 10 categories. Now, in four cats, there's actually a very similar command called FCT underscore count. There we go. And that's just sets it up. It's the same sort of thing, just sets it up as a tibble. I think that's much neater and much easier to work with because you can use standard data frame and tibble operations on that so that's great now what we're going to look at here is no answer and don't know what we can do there is combine them into one category for example missing other party okay we'll leave that alone we have strong republican and not strong republican well if you're not a strong republican you're still a republican so what we could do is try and combine those okay likewise for the democrats okay so we have a couple of independents here. So we have independent near Republican, independent and independent near Democrat. Now I'm going, again, this is actually from CRAN and I'll just sort of stick with what is in CRAN, the vignette and the reference. So what we will do here is we will just condense this into four categories, missing, other, Republican, those two, independent and Democrat. So let's see how we do this. And it's, sorry, I just realized I said four categories. I really meant to say five categories. Anyway, so five categories there. Missing, Republican, Independent, Democrat, other, okay. So the command is FCT underscore collapse. Okay, now, just to be clear, I think I said this before, and I'll say it again and again, that I, I'm using the reference for this example, okay? So this is what we get. Do not try and improve on perfection. So party ID two, we'll just call, this is the new variable that we're going to create. And this is created by collapsing this other factor, FCT collapse, GSS cat, GSS underscore cat party ID, okay? So what we're doing here is just assigning the old categories and into new categories, okay? So it's, it's almost like setting up a very simple string vector when you're learning about R for the first time. Except, of course, with an equal sign where you should have been using an arrow Okay, so that's really it. Now, let's have a look at party ID 2. Actually, let's look, have a look at GSS underscore cat. Now, it doesn't get brought in here just yet. That's important. Okay, so it's not in there at all. It's still 20, 21,000 by 9. So you would have to import it in. But let's have a look at party ID 2. 
What I mean to say is it does not work like mutate. So let's have a quick count. Use the FCT count just to see what that looks like. There we go. So five categories and that is the count for each of the five categories. You can join it in if you wanted to, uh, but you use dplyr and stuff like that to join this, cate this uh, categorical variable into your main data set, if you so wish. It does not automatically generate it, for example, the way the mutate would as a new column in the GSS cat data frame. So we'll leave it there.